I'm Bailey Hatfield and I'm one of your West District representatives. And today I'm going to be showing you some basic skills for grooming a horse. And then I'm going to be talking about a little horse safety in there. So grooming your horse is something that's very important. Uh, whether you're just riding in the pasture or if you're showing your horse where it has to look very nice all the time. It's just very important to keep your horse looking clean. And so my horse stays in the pasture most of the time. She's turned out every day. And so sometimes she likes to roll, say it rains or whatever. And so when she gets really muddy, I like to use something called a curry comb, or this is something similar to a curry comb. And it'll just get the dirt off. And she's not very dirty today because we had her locked up last night. So then I like to go in with a brush and depending on if they have a lot of dirt on them or if they have a thick winter coat, um, that's like depending on the type of brush you want to use. I'm just using a softer brush because she's not super dirty. So I just start up here, I brush her off, put on the legs, brush her up like this. And in our pasture, we get a lot of stickers. And so I always make sure that there's not any stickers down here. And there's not any. And especially when I'm going to saddle up my horse, this is where I tighten the cinch to ride her. And so that could cause some irritation. And so I really just make sure there's nothing down there. And then I finish brushing her off. Also something very good is when you're brushing your horse off and grooming your horse, which we usually do every day, you'll notice if they have any cuts or scrapes or anything. And so it's just very good to do this so you're aware of what's going on with your horse. And then when you walk around or behind a horse, you always want to make sure that you don't walk super close um, in case the horse was to kick or kick in a fly and accidentally kick you. It's just very important to do that. And so I always try to walk at least this far away from my horse. And I always sometimes pet her when I walk behind her just so she knows that I'm back here. And then I'm going to go in with my mane and tail brush. So again, like I said, you know, a lot of times your horse may not know if you need to walk back here really quickly. So I never stand behind her when I'm brushing her tail. I stand to the side and I start at the bottom just because she has a really pretty tail and I don't want to rip any of the hairs out. Just like if you were brushing your hair. And brush it. Her tail isn't super tangled because we washed her yesterday. So and then I just finished brushing it. And then I'm just going to walk to the other side. And brush her mane out. And her mane is shorter because show horses, they have to cut their manes about this long and so it's not very long at all. And I haven't been showing her, her here lately so that's why her mane is a little bit shorter. And just brush it out like normal. And then I'm going to go around to her face. So brushing a horse's face, you don't need to like put your hand up to it very quickly or anything. Uh, my horse doesn't really mind touching her face. But I know some get a little bit more irritated. And so I just like to do it really slow. And I'm gonna brush out her poor lock up here. She's gonna cut her. Brush it out. She gets a lot of sand birds in the she holds. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my face brush. And then I'm brushing my horse's face. I use a softer brush just so it doesn't irritate her. Something 
also flies are very bad this summer and so we're having to put a lot of fly spray on and since she has a problem with her front feet we have to keep her coated in fly spray or else she stumps a lot and that can cause her to get uncomfortable. And so you can get a fly sheet, lots of fly spray. There's really good brands of fly spray that stay on longer. There's fly masks. You can get boots for their legs and their feet. So I hope you guys learned a few things today and thank you.